Here goes nothing. All right, you guys, a little update on the Cobra. You guys can see I'm standing under it and it don't look like much got done, but man, don't let anybody tell you that uh, torque boxes are easy. This is like typically not a job that we take on at my shop. I mean, I'm, I'm more than capable of doing it, but uh, man, that's a lot of work and charging guys you know, 3,000 bucks to put something in is just crazy. So stick to the easy shit. But since it's my car, I got it all cleaned up. And uh, all I got to do is cut out this plate for the old subframe connectors. That's the last piece on this side. But uh, man, it's got a lot of metal work. And uh, we're almost there. So let's take a look at all the parts that we're gonna do on the chassis, fellas. Uh, I got the Maximum Motorsport. Uh, pretty much everything Maximum Motorsport. I actually, uh, I wanna thank them. I just got off the phone with them a little bit ago. Uh, they called me and uh, they, I had ordered some parts and they were like, yeah, we're, we're out of stock. And so I sent them an email with uh, telling him that I was gonna do a build. And uh, he hit me up, he said, we're gonna try to get it out to you as soon as possible. So, big up to Maximum Motorsport for hitting me up. Yeah, I know I always rock the Maximum. Um, but anyway, the parts that we're gonna go on the Cobra, yeah, I got all this stuff for Maximum. So, it's the lower arms. We got their, uh, Rack bushing kit. This is the for the arms. We got the Coney double adjustables. Coney's. I got BMR um, torque box reinforcements. My spindles. Old sway bar links that were on the car. Maximum Motorsport uh, tie rod ends. Camber plates. And what do we got here? Rear coilover kit. We're also going to go with the front arms and uh, front coilover kit from uh, Maximum Motorsports. So, here's a look at some of the pieces, fellas. Uh, the torque boxes are also getting welded in. Those were from Wild Rides. I got those a long time ago. Um, now they got all kinds of Team Z and good ones. Uh, I'm not a big fan of how they're fitting, but uh, seems to be like the best uh, way to do it is how the instructions say is uh, build your whole diff, put the whole rear suspension in, put the rear uh, end at the right height that it's going to be, bolt the torque boxes to the front of the arms and raise everything up and uh, measure it all equally and uh, everything should be falling in the same place so that's how we're gonna do it we already took measurements of uh, where the old hole was the old position so we know where the hole should be when we tack it up so that's how we'll be able to get the torque boxes back in the same place so stay tuned you guys we got a lot of stuff from maximum coming they're gonna send out some goodies and uh, I'll keep you guys posted on on that. It should be here within the next day or two. All right. Take All right, fellas. Decided to bring you guys on a little field trip. trip. But I also want to show you guys the training that's going to go in the Cobra. All right. So I got blessed by my buddy Lloyd, by the way. Thank you, Lloyd. He had this uh, T56 in his... Um, back of his car and uh he decided to get a magnum buy everything new but this uh core he gave me and uh, i decided to take it to my buddies to see uh what was wrong with it and uh, they found some shit they, they told me that my buddy was launching it and uh, the mid plate was uh broken in it so waiting on that part and uh, i just kind of want to show you guys uh my tranny and what was going to go in the cobra and uh 
show you guys around the shop see if you guys uh, ever been to a manual transmission rebuild shop this is all they do there so it's in the South Bay area right here in the in Cali um, it's in Campbell a little city called Campbell so hang on and I'll uh, I'll take you guys through the shop all right that's another one let's right. see this fucked up shit okay all right fellas so this it's right here right there. look at this this is the training that's going in the Cobra so, so let's see this thing had blown up yeah you see that's all brown uh, here, dude? yeah they fixed and it and then do you see this here they staked it okay D and D dude D and D yeah all right Kaka. Kaka. so I mean dude the plates are expensive so they didn't want to it's like this is fucking Maybe so, I could take well so some beans Will's on trying that. to do something and he's like, what the? Gotcha. The Pinochas are worn out. All right, fellas. So there you guys have it. Y'all met Kevin. He's a character. Um, but yeah, my tranny's in good hands. And yeah, my buddy Lloyd did some damage to that thing. So I'm waiting on this piece. And then he can run through it and rebuild it all for me. But, uh. He said he found a couple things, you know, this fork and this one, they're not standard Tremec parts overseas, you know, so. Couple weeks, uh, should have that thing ready, so. We got the tranny, we got the motor at Wes's. The diff is uh, getting built by us. So you guys see the drivetrain right there, you know, 331 stroker. T56, 8.8 .8 with C-Clip Eliminators, and uh, that's going to be the start, start of the drivetrain filling, so, all right, stay tuned. Change rails coming in, we're going to make jacking rails, and the torque box is all cleaned out. Got everything nice and cleaned up. Now it's time to start welding. We got some weld through primer. Hit, hit that up on the back side so it won't rust. And uh, once we can jack it up from here, then we can start putting in the torque boxes. It's close, fellas. Boxes in, them out, Not fast, steady, pinching up the welds. Get in there. All right, y'all. It's been like a day or two since I checked in. And uh, that's for a good reason, man. We've been hard at it with this Cobra. I pretty much, I got the chassis all lined up, lined up and straight away. Um, got the torque boxes from Wild Rides welded up. You guys saw on the last update. But um, we got the rear end all squared in there. It's uh, exactly from this point to the center of the axle on both sides and from this point we got it all centered it's the fourth hole down would be the stock location on this box that's what the instructions say and we also got another measurement from this bulkhead to this is three and a half inches exactly on both sides so we're pretty confident we got this thing squared uh, I might get some uh, trade the adjustable control arms on my uh, coupe put the solid ones on the coupe and then the adjustable on this if we need to get it perfect but but pretty much that's it on the torque boxes they're in there and uh you guys can see i made this my own version of the stifflers spider brace welded it all up to the subframes and i welded it to the torque box so the subframes welded to the torque box and the frame 
all together. You guys could see that thing is solid. And then the cool thing about this uh, is a jacking rail, I call it. You can actually jack up on it, and you see I made tie-ins to the subframes. So that's gonna be a nice chassis. If you jack up on one corner, the whole whole car pretty much lifts up. So next thing uh, we're moving on to is this engine bay, and man, let me tell you, it's a fucking mess. We've been finding some fucking ugly shit because this car was crashed. So there's gonna be some major changes, fellas. Uh, right now, me and my brother, we're gutting this whole thing. Everything's coming out of it. And uh, I'm gonna do something major that a lot of you guys probably ain't gonna like. It's a 93 Cobra, but it is a salvaged, because it was crashed, so it is a salvaged 93. But it's all good. I don't care. Um, so this thing right here is going to be controversial. And I bet I'm going to get some hate on it. But this is the next next thing we got to do, man. I can't stand the, the front frame part fucked up. The radiator support. All that shit's just crunch. So what are we going to get him? What are we going to do? Let's do it. Are we going to slice the front off or what? That's what we're doing today. We're slicing. Team Z Motorsports, two wheel front end going in. Brothers bolting it up. We got the welded version. Fire. And uh, gotta just bolt it up. And uh, she's going under the knife, fellas. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. It's uh, a step that we need to clean the car up how I want it. And. For what's next to come motor wise fellas all right there's a little update for you guys leave it at that and uh there she is man she's getting the metal work done all right y'all here goes nothing i need to know everything who in the what in the where i need everything